Hey guys! So Wet n Wild has released yet another limited edition collection. This one is the Sequins and Stardust collection for the holidays this year. And I came across it at Five Below. And uh, this is the second time I found a limited edition Wet n Wild collection at Five Below. So I guess this is going to be a regular thing there. But it's also been seen at other stores that carry limited edition Wet n Wild collections. So wherever you normally find it, that's probably where it's going to be. <laughs> um, so the display though at Five Below, there were a couple of products that they didn't have on the display. And it isn't that they were sold out because I think I hit this right after uh, they had put it out. The only thing that was missing was lashes and the highlighter. And so if I see the highlighter at another store, I'll pick it up and show it to you at a later date. But I didn't want to wait to do this video because I thought the highlighter is supposed to be a real hot commodity. So I thought if I never did find the highlighter, I could be waiting forever to do this video. So I am missing the highlighter and uh, there are also eyelashes and... Um, I don't really care about that because I have tons of eyelashes that I like already so I don't need the wet and wild ones. I figured that since lashes were part of the collection I would put eyelashes on today but these are our Dell Demi Wispies. Anyway, the products that I did find were the pigments and how ironic right because yesterday's video if you saw that was about a pigment nail polishes and lip glosses. So I tried to incorporate as many of the products as I could into today's look and I will tell you as we go along if I happen to be wearing one of the products. Alright, let's start with the pigments. There are four of them and they are all very warm toned neutral type colors and perfect for fall and or the holidays. So let's start with the lightest one. This is called Kung Fu Lightning and it's a pale gold. I have that on as my brow bone highlight and I also put some on as my face highlight where I couldn't find the actual face highlighter from the collection, I thought I would do some as a face lighter, highlighter as well. These are... The pigments are $2.99 a piece, and like I said, there's four shades. So the first one was Kung Fu Lightning, and it's a pale gold. By the way, what I'm going to do is at the end of the video, I'm going to post swatches of the pigments and the lip glosses so that you can see how they look swatched on my skin too. But I figured at the beginning of the video, I would just, you know, talk about the products and do a little explanation. The next one that I'm going to show you is Dom and Cherry on top. And this is kind of, all these colors are somewhat similar. So see, they're sort of all in the same color family. But I'm not really sure why they called this Dom and Cherry on top. Because to me, this has nothing to do with red. This is more of a, a warm beige, I would say. So I don't have that one on. The next one is called Heart of Rose Gold. I have this all over my lids and I put it a little bit into the crease and then I took one of the shadows from my Viseart Neutral Matte Palette. That Was it that shade that I ended up using? Actually, I think I took a little bit of each one of these shades and buffed it into the crease with the Rose Gold Pigment. So that's how I used it. Then I took um, those same two shades and just dragged them down along the lower lash line. And the fourth shade is Ride on My Copper. 
and this is a obviously a copper color as the rose gold one is a rose gold color so those are the four pigments now the jars on these look just like the Mac the newer type of Mac container that I showed you in yesterday's video but what these have which I think is so handy is I love the design of the top of the container it has a little flap on the top that you just flip up in the air like that and then it's got holes and you can just dump a little bit into the cap and work with it that way if you want to this is such a nice design and I'm so impressed with the way they did that because it's gonna be very very helpful alright so those are the pigments and then the next thing I want to show you are the lip glosses there are four shades there is oops <laughs> what would a video be without me dropping something right <laughs> the first one is a white and it's called boogie white lights and I feel like the best way to use this would probably be to layer it on top of a pink or a purple lipstick or if you're really bold a blue lipstick you know how all the companies have been coming out with a blue list lipstick I think this would be really pretty on top of a blue lipstick and I just happen to have one so I'm gonna try that um, soon probably and see how that looks and then the next one is moxie brown and it's sort of uh, orange toned or copper toned brown I would say and the next one is the loco potion and this is like an orange corally color and the last one is a gold it's called ring my bell bottoms and this is the one that I'm wearing what I did was that Maybelline lip liner that I told you about in nude I lined and filled in my lips and then I put this gold gloss on top of it so that's the one that I'm wearing and then there are four mega last nail polishes and in a video not too long ago I mentioned how I had not tried the mega last nail polishes since they were reformulated a couple of years ago so I knew it was safe to buy all four colors because the formula normally on these is great or at least it is on the ones that I've tried so far so the first one is called are you free to dance and this is a pale light blue with lots of shimmer in it and this is quite sheer and would have to be some sort of a glitter top coat and um, see so there isn't really the this is two coats of each polish by the way on this nail wheel with no base coat or top coat but that's what it looks like swatched so I think in order for that to show up probably the best way to use it would be to put it over an opaque or cream white or black polish it would probably be really pretty over a gray as well if it was a cooler gray that would be my suggestion for using this and that's what I'm gonna try it out on and uh, by the way all these products the ones that I'm not wearing today um, I'm going to be wearing them in future videos so if you want to see you know how I use them and how they look then I'll be sure to try them out in my next upcoming videos this next one is called I dream of Jean Genie and it's a really pretty denim blue with some gold shimmer in it I really like this and I'm very anxious to see how that's gonna translate but here's how it looks on the nail wheel so you can just barely see the gold shimmer in that 
And the next one is called Studio Glittering Gold. And it's pretty much just a gold with shimmer. And that's how it looks like swatched. That one would probably coordinate the best with, I feel, the rest of the collection. And then the last one is Ninja Lovelace. And this is a really, really dark brown with gold shimmer. And swatched. That's how it looks swatched. So it really comes across really, really dark. So let's see, what else was I going to tell you about this? Oh, when I was talking about um, pigment yesterday in my video, what I neglected to mention is that pigments can also be used wet. And I applied these today all dry and I like the way they look, but if you wanted to intensify the look, you could take something like Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist, something like that, and you could spray your face with that and make it even more intense and shinier and glowier. Or you could use, um, you know, whatever you have for that type of product, um, such as the Elf Makes One, and, you know, all the companies make something like that now. You don't want to use a setting spray. I mean, you can if you want to. But the ones that are more of a refresher type spray, um, Smashbox has one, Elf has one, Wet n Wild has one too. Um, there's a whole bunch of them. So I would use something like that if you really want to make it pop and shimmer and shinier. I like it just the way it is, so I'm not going to put anything on, on top of that. So these pigments, by the way are really, really impressive for the price. Um, I've played around with lots of different brands of pigments before, and for $2.99 a piece, those are a really good deal. I would say, you know, if you like pigments and you can, I would get all four. The price on the lip glosses are also $2.99 a piece, which, you know, that's a steal for lip glosses. I don't usually like to wear lip gloss on its own, but today I decided to just layer it over the nude pencil since it was a gold. I figured that would be the easiest way for me to wear it. But usually lip glosses I like to put on top of a lipstick. Uh, but the only gold lipstick I have is that MAC one that I showed you the other day. And where that was a frost finish, I didn't think it would make a lot of sense to put a gloss on top of a frost lipstick. And then the nail polishes are only $1.99 a piece, so only eight dollars for all four of the nail polishes so like I said before I'm gonna put some um, photographs at the end of this video so that you can you know see what they look like in photographs and you can see them swatched the the lip glosses and the eyeshadows all swatched on my arm so thanks so much for watching you guys and if you have any questions of course put it in the comment section and um, that's it. Bye.